Our crew is starting today on a new project. They're going to install some transformers and run service drops. This is a, probably real, one of the most common jobs that a line crew will perform. Uh, transformers are pretty large, and get very heavy. They range anywhere from about 200 pounds up to several thousand pounds. So lifting these on a pole is, uh, takes, takes a good bit of planning and uh, proper, proper rigging and precautions. When they, when they put these up, usually we work on the energized lines. Today it's going to be de-energized. The, no, the line won't be hot, so they won't have to worry about uh, the high voltage. We always, we always want to work our lines as though they're hot. Lifting the transformers up requires a lot of rigging, ropes, and uh, we either do that or lift them with trucks. They're going to work today lift them with four-way blocks to get the uh, to pull the transformers up and we'll pull them up by hand. A lot of times we can't get trucks to the job site, so we're gonna do it the old fashioned hard way. The uh, transformer connections are really important how we do this. We have parts on the grounding and the transformers. It's essential that they're properly connected and grounded or we can cause a lot of damage on the uh, customer's property, burn up appliances. And this is a good part of the uh, process they're learning is, is proper installation and connections. Laid out all, most of the tools we need to do a basic transformer installation. This is called an extendo stick, a long stick. It's a fiberglass insulated stick we use for switching. Open and close the fuses on the uh, high voltage end. It's another insulated stick. It's a type of hot stick we call it. This one's called a shotgun. This one's used to make the actual connection to our hotline. At the top, we have what we call a hotline clamp that connects. And uh, this one has a ring on the end that that makes our that we use to clamp into our connector, put it on the line. We usually wear that use these wearing rubber gloves, insulated gloves, help protect us from the high voltage. Okay. Of course, we when we hang a transformer, we have to install bolts and things. We use it drill. This is a gas drill we'll use for, uh, for drilling the holes. It's called a wire grip. This goes on the conductor, the wire when we pull it up, holds it in place and uh, we attach the wire to the pole. Some of the transformers are pretty heavy. When we're rigging those we use a uh, rope sling. This is an adjustable load rated sling. And it's rated for a, a little over 1200 pounds. And uh, we can adjust this, keep it, so we can connect this, I'll put this on our transformer, we're lifting it up. And low rate of sling is important, especially on bigger transformers. This is our hand line. We carry this up, this sends our small tools, material up and down the pole. And uh, it's what we call a pop tool. This particular one is OD gun. It has dies in it for connectors. We so we put our connectors on when we connect the transformer to the, uh, the wires to the transformer, back and forth. That's the different connectors. This is a transformer gin. We call it a Jenny. This straps around the pole. When we're hanging a transformer, it has a lifting out, hang a block in. That's what we use that above the transformer. We lift it up, uh, pull it up the pole with. That's a set of four-way blocks. That's what we use to put in the pole gen and pull the transformer up. Four-way blocks give us a lot of leverage. They help, help lift the transformer a lot easier. Okay? If we're not doing it out of a bucket, we use our climbing gear, our hooks, hooks and belt, and I'll put that on and go up the pole. So that's the way we'll be hanging these today out of hooks. Okay? The Jenny, the transformer gen itself, to attach it to the pole. When we put it on the pole, we're going to put it well above where the transformer itself is going. We're going to put a chain around the pole, hook it in. We're going to put a safety pin in the chain.